Welcome to this tutorial on animation using Chimera interface. In this tutorial, we will learn to adjust background lighting and effects, create scene for animation, place scenes along a timeline, record a movie of the resulting animation. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Chimera interface. If not, for relevant tutorials, Please visit our website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.04, Chimera version 1.10.2, Mozilla Firefox browser 42.0 and a working internet connection. Here I have opened Chimera window. On the command text box, type open 1 MBO. Press enter. A structure of hemoglobin opens on the panel. Type delete solvent to delete water molecules. Press enter. Let me demonstrate how to create scene for animation. A chimera scene can have orientations of models and clipping planes, different display styles and colors of models, molecular surfaces, electron density maps, and electrostatic potential maps. A scene can also have 2D labels, axis, plane and centroid representation, cast P pocket display, parameters such as background lighting and effects. Back to the panel. Before we begin to create scenes for animation, let us learn to control background lighting. Click on Tools menu, scroll down to Viewing Controls. From the sub-menu, select Effects. Viewing dialog box opens. In the Effects section, click on Depth Queuing. It refers to Front to Back Shading. Click on Color Well. Choose a color for shading from the Color Well. Close the Color Editor. Click on Silhouettes to show outlines. You can increase or decrease the width of the silhouettes using Width field. Click on Color Well. Choose a color from the Color Editor. Close the Color Editor. Click on Lighting button on the Viewing dialog box. Here we can change the lighting parameters according to requirement. Click on Shininess button. There are two options, Intensity and Shininess. Select Intensity. Click on Mode button. By default, two-point lighting is selected. Change it to three-point for more brightness. Drag the slider to adjust brightness and contrast. Again, click on Intensity button. Choose Shininess. Drag the slider to adjust sharpness and reflectivity. Click on save, then click on close. Rotate the structure on the panel. Observe the shading and silhouettes. Let us now create some scenes for animation. Click on tools menu. Scroll down to utilities option. Click on animation from the sub menu. Animation dialog box opens. Animation dialog box has scenes, actions and timeline sections. Click on the green plus icon in the scene section. This saves the current image on the panel as a scene. It also generates a thumbnail image of the scene in the scene section. This image is the first scene for an animation. Right click on the thumbnail image. A context menu opens with options such as Add to Timeline, Properties, Delete, etc. Modify the display of the protein structure on the panel to create another scene. Using Presets menu, change the display to Interactive 1. Select the ligand from Select menu. From Actions menu, choose Sphere. This will change the ligand 
to CPK display. Clear the selection. In the animation dialog box, click the green plus icon from the scene section. This will add the image on the panel as scene 2. For scene 3, add axis for the helices present in the structure. Click on tools menu. Scroll down to structure analysis option. Click on axis, planes, centroids from the submenu. In the structure measurement dialog box, click on define axis. In the define axis dialog box, click on each helix radio button. Click on OK. Add this image as scene 3. Click on the plus icon in the animation dialog box. Now delete the axis in the structure measurement dialog box. Select all the rows. Click on delete button. Close the structure measurement dialog box. For scene 4, select main using select menu. Show the surface using actions menu. Again select main from the select menu. Change the color of the surface to yellow using actions menu. Select ligand and change the color of the ligand to blue. Clear the selection. Add this scene as scene 4 on the animation dialog box. To show the substrate pocket more clearly, make the surface transparent. Click on actions menu. Scroll down to surface. From the sub menu, choose transparency. Click on 50%. Add this scene as fifth scene on the scene section. If you want to delete a scene from the scene section, right click on the thumbnail image, select delete option. To add a scene, again click on plus icon. Insert the scenes on the timeline section by drag and drop method using mouse button. Click on a thumbnail image, drag and place the image on the timeline. Release the mouse button. Alternatively, we can right click on the thumbnail, select add to timeline option from the context menu. Add all the scenes to the timeline in a sequence. In the action section, there are two options. Rock for oscillating motion. Roll for continuous motion. Let us choose roll. Now we are ready to record this animation. Click on record button. Record animation dialog box opens. I will choose desktop to save the file. Give a file name in the file name text box. Type the file name as animation-1. Select file type as .ogv or any movie format of your choice. Click on record button to start recording the animation. The series of images will be encoded into a movie file on the desktop. If you want to abort the recording process, click on the record button again on the animation dialog box. It will take a few minutes to complete the recording process. The file will be saved as animation-1 on the desktop. Double click on the OGV file to view the animation. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to adjust background lighting and effects, create scenes for animation, place scenes along a timeline, record a movie of the resulting animation. As an assignment, open a model of chymotrypsin, adjust background and lighting effects, adjust transparency to show ligand inside the protein surface. Create a few scenes and make animation movie. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us.
the spoken tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.